Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you like my videos and the one about to show about Mitsubishi, the wireless thermostat hooking it up. If you like these videos, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Uh, let anybody you can know that you know I'm out here doing these HVAC videos. Also going to be doing some metal detecting videos. As soon as my metal detector comes in, my um, birthday was on April 8th, so I went ahead and uh, put some money aside to go ahead and get that. So we'll be doing some of those videos. I also do some outdoor exploring videos, so we'll take care of some of those videos too. I got a couple I got to load. From when I, I travel all over Texas, that's what I do for a living as, as um, HVAC tech. So yeah, some of the places I stopped by when on my downtime, you know, I was finding old abandoned houses, this and that, falling down the side of the road or whatever. I'll go check it out, whatever, take, take some pictures, this and that. Don't steal nothing, just take some pics. So if y'all like those videos too, let me know kind of more or less where y'all like to go. If you like it all, you know, we'll stick to doing it all. So yeah, on lunch right now at work, taking a little break, but gonna go get back out of here in a little bit. So you guys be safe out there. If you don't have any safeties, you can just widen up that together, that's fine. And then if you're using, if you don't, if it doesn't come with the remote and you get a kit like this, MHK2, you need to know where to plug in CN105 cable. You need to take this front cover off of the unit. When I put it back together, I'll show you how this goes. It simply just clicks in the top and down here, there's some little hidden screws you have to take out. And then you have to take this cover off right here. Again, when I put it back together, I'll show you all the steps on how to do it. This little cover just comes off of the side. And then it, this, uh, it comes with this cable right here. It plugs in right here on the side, right there. It's a little red connection, can't miss it. Right there. It says CN105 red. That's why I decided to make the video because most of the time they'll come with a remote like this, the last one did. And those are really easy. You just turn it on, point it, do your thing, no big deal. This one, you know, like I said, it's got a few extra steps. You got this new sensor, then you got the thermostat and everything. So I'll show you all how to wire that all up right now. We're gonna do this in reverse. Like I said, I showed y'all where it went in that little red port right there. So we've now connected it. We're gonna put this cover back on. It just slides right in here and you can see where the hole matches up right there and you got another hole down here we just have to get this cable in a good spot so it's not getting hung up there you go moved it off to the side see it fell right into place see how it slips in there and then when you're taking this thing off this just snaps into place but when you just pull it take this out and then pull this out take off this screw this screw pull it right out to get to your cable Now we'll go ahead and put that screw back in, that screw back in, got the sensor back in, screw back in, screw back in, and I have this cable just dangling here, you're going to want to stick it right here and just run it through, and it's going to pop up out under there. through there or off to the side or however you want to do it. This thing back up. This is the bottom. I'm just gonna bring it back up here. It just kind of sits up here and you can kind of see where it goes right back into. I have to use both hands but I'll show you right now. You can kind of see that little clip right there and the one that Mitsubishi has to click into it. So you just want to line all those up and have them snap into place down the line. I snap back on in the three positions on the top one two three on the back side and then you're gonna want to come under here and don't forget to put this screw and this screw in and this little guy right here that covers it all up so don't forget to put that back in there just like so you got one on each side get the receiver just snap it right in there and then it says to mount it on the bottom, the right or the top, it's all fine. Then put this little metal box back on with that one screw. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this cover back on with the white screw. This will just fit right back in here. Just 
just like that. Just snaps back in place. Let me screw it down. Let's get the last cover. Put it in here. And then put the screw. 